Hey guys, I'm in Kristiansand in Norway to come have a look at a project I built about two years ago. It's been a while, let's go have a look. So the story behind this car was a uh, guy Glenn in Kristiansand, Norway contacted me on the internets and uh, asked me if I could build a car like this due to the car I built for my daughter Emma. Um, and I said yes and it was probably the biggest project I've done ever. Um, and there's a lot of detail in this car, more than what he probably asked for to be honest. Um, but I want to show it to you because you guys deserve to see it and I'm proud of it. So here we go. Right, the chassis. I took the 1932 Ford original dimensions and scaled them down three to one, which gave me a between axle measurement of 897 millimeters. God knows what that is in inches, sorry guys. This is wrong though. I shouldn't have used the banana to scale because it just doesn't fit the bigger kids in. Hulk smash, shut up Hulk, you're a jerk. Underneath the car, you'll see that I built a steel chassis and that's because the car was originally supposed to be motorized. In fact, it still can be, it just needs to put a chain sprocket on and mount the engine in the back behind the seat. Whilst we're looking underneath the car, let's talk about the brakes and steering. The car runs a rear disc brake with a cable actuated caliper, which is controlled by hand brake in the cockpit. A majority of the steering parts were actually taken from a go-kart. The only thing I did change was the camber of the front wheels. I literally just cut off the front axles and then re-welded them on at an aggressive camber angle, which I think just looks super, super tough. Let's talk about the body. In this video, which was shot two years ago, I look incredibly young and handsome, but I also show you a lot of the joins such as dovetails and mortise and tenons that are used on the skeletal structure of the body. A majority of those unfortunately are covered up by the body panels, but I'm very proud that I did them. The shaping of the rails and radiator were done by hand and an abrasive sanding disc. The panels themselves were recessed in uh, and then stained in a black stain with a polyurethane spray over the top. I did have a lot of troubles with the polyurethane spray. I probably didn't mix it well enough, but overall, I think it looks super tough and the front grill uh, looks amazing. If we're gonna talk about the front grill, the front grill was slats of pine just cut and shaped individually and glued together. And the little extras too on this uh, car, such as the lights, uh, the front bumper, the tow hook, uh, and the rear lights. You know, these things were just bought from your local bike store and a couple other little places. Uh, nothing crazy special, but I think they just make the car look complete and I'm really happy with the result. Right, the wheels. I bought these from my local hardware store. They are just wheelbarrow wheels. Uh, and then I made this uh, chrome hub cap, which was actually made from a kitchen utensil of some sort, I think just to melt chocolate. Um, and I just cut the handle off and then it sits really nice on there between the bolts. Right, let's talk about the interior. I love the interior. This is my favorite part of the car. Uh, the upholstery, I sewed myself. Yes, that's me on the sewing machine. Uh, I sewed a cross diamond on the door card with a pocket and that logo there is actually my family crest, not the Citroen Chevrons. The seat itself, I just sewed some simple lines through it to give it a bit of detail. Right, the steering wheel, I'm most proud about this. This is segmented birch dovetailed together uh, and then I split this in half and put a metal ring inside. The other cool thing about this steering wheel is it can be removed just like a Formula One style steering wheel so the driver can get in and out easier. The last little detail in here is the handbrake. This is just a real simple turned birch handle. Just really makes it look clean and simple. So that's it guys. This is the car. I'm so glad it's in such great condition after two years. If you like what I do, please check out my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time.